I would expect that that um, in general, this would be reaching the end of its useful lifespan anyway, and so that I, I, I am reluctant to grant an extension to to. I don't. Up. I don't think we can, anyways, because we don't have any time limit that's set up by uh, whoever sets it up as to when to hook up, because the. the the project is not ready to be hooked into. No, I know what you're saying there, but but we can we right. can we can we can right. in fact grant a variance. We have the ability to grant a variance from hookup. That's How do you grant a variance if you don't know what the time frame is for hookup? Well, you can grant it until the system fails. I don't think you can. No, we, no. We, Why we, not? Well, we we could, but we could, but that's that's not what we're going to be doing here. We're going to be doing it. We don't need to wait until the environment's ruined before we before we have people hook up. Um, what we you know we're not going to wait until systems fail. We're going to wait. We're going to have them. Isn't that what you do in the rest of the town? You wait till they fail until people repl people don't replace their septic systems until they fail. Not where not where we have sewers. In fact, this is new and unusual for the board. The board has always required. In fact, there's a, there's a regulation that requires hookup. As soon as as soon as a sewer line comes past a property, um, because of the concerns of the cost in this area, the board has has de has decided in discussion with with the health division and with the the uh, town council and with the town manager to grant s some relief when people reaching the end of its useful lifespan if the tank is less than five years old because the tanks not your limiting factor the tank could have lasted for 150 years no matter what if it hadn't been crushed by your your why your is nothing done to the leaching systems when the sewer hookup takes place nothing's nothing's done to the leaching system we're just required to crush the tank and right, replace because it nothing with go, because nothing goes into the leaching systems from there on out well, at this point in my system, is, I'm a single person in the house. Uh, the system is not heavily used. The tank is new. I can't afford it, nor can anybody else on my street virtually. And um, I, I would like you to, to give me a good reason other than uh, that the leaching field is 19 years old. That, that, uh, could we have it inspected and see what kind of condition it's in? And if it's in good condition, consider a variance instead of just across the board saying, no, you can't have a variance? Number one, the variance does not keep you from the betterment charge. I, I, I know that. Really That's already crushing. Number one. And number two, um, uh, the answer is the answer is given the sensitivity of our environment, given the 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 problems that we have with water supplies in various areas. And I'm not sp talking specifically about about where you're located, in, but if looking at the town overall, uh, I think there's no question that where possible, hooking up to sewer. Is so much better for the environment where it's available. There's a great deal of question about it, actually. No, there isn't. In the Stewart's Creek area, um, there's only less than 20 percent are pre-1978 septic systems. Well, that doesn't and matter. And 30 percent are are newer Title V systems. <clears throat> so it's not most of them that are. You think your system's uh, a Title V system? I know it is. Well, it isn't because your leach pit it goes over your lot line and it extends out into the street. Area so it well, uh, it did pass Title V by a certified Title V inspection. Inspection, but that doesn't make it legal. Oh, what does it make it? Well, I don't know, but it's it makes it less than legal. There must be a lot of those in town. Well, there are. That's why they're having problems. That's why they're putting sewer systems in. But a lot of other places in easy. town that need it as easy. much as this area. There's nothing easy about this. No, there isn't. Thank you. No, Especially, you know, that, that's probably one of the things that's most misunderstood here is that the reason that Stewart's Creek got sewered was is not on the basis of the nitri the, by based on the nitrogen uh, contamination of the, I the asteroids. I mean, it was for a totally different set of reasons. What was the reason? It wasn't a public health reason either. 
What was yeah, the no, reason it, it was? Actually was. No, the biggest reason for, for it was public health, which was <clears throat> the inability to cite septic systems on a lot of the properties there without, without major variances, both because of the, the groundwater elevation and the, it was, this was way before my time, but it was, it was based on a finding, excuse me for a second. It was based on a finding by the Citizens Advisory Committee back then mm -hmm. that this was an area that had a high percentage of properties where septic systems that were, com were compliant could not fit. And it was also an area where, where the reality is, is at least at that point in time, 18 years ago, the cost of hooking up to sewers was about equivalent or actually less than the cost of a septic system. And it lasts for 200 years versus 20 to 25 years. 